Hey everyone, Scritch here. In this video I will show you how to obtain and even shiny hunt any non-breedable Pokemon in Fire Red and Leaf Green. This includes all legendaries, mythicals, all baby Pokemon, specific forms of unknown, and Nidorina and Nidoqueen for some reason. This video is going to contain different sections, so a timestamp to each section will be in the pinned comment below. Before getting into the video I want to thank Metarcry M for his video on the glitch and Navarro for helping me understand it better. Both their links are in the description if you want to check them out. There's a few things we are going to need to be able to do this glitch. First of all, you will need two Game Boys, SPs or Advanced, it doesn't matter, a link cable and a copy of both Pokemon Emerald and Fire Red or Leaf Green. In Pokemon Emerald and Fire Red Leaf Green you have to finish the Elite Four and have access to the Battle Frontier and Emerald and finish Elio's quests after obtaining a National Dex in Fire Red Leaf Green. In Fire Red Leaf Green, you're going to need some Poké Dolls and Max Potions. You'll need to catch a Ditto for later, a Spiro and a Golduck in Fire Red or Slowbro in Leaf Green. I have left links in the description on how you can get all these items slash Pokémon. With your Spiro and Golduck slash Slowbro in your party, go to the building connecting Route 18 in Fuchsia City. On floor 2 of the building, there will be a man that will trade you a Lickitung for your Golduck slash Slowbro. After you get your Lickitung, go to Vermilion City and the house next to the Pokemon fan club and get yourself a Farfetch'd for your Spiro. It's really important that you don't give your new Farfetch'd or Lickitung any EVs whatsoever. This can easily be avoided by not using them for battling or giving them any items. You now want to trade Lickitung and Farfetch to Emerald. In Emerald we are going to need 6 to 10 Pomic Berries, 4 to 14 HP ups, a rare candy and the EXP share, although it's not required, it helps later on. We are going to duplicate these items, so don't worry about quantity yet. You will also need to catch a Bonnet. After doing all this, there is a few items and Pokemon we need to duplicate. To duplicate, you need to go to the Battle Frontier and the Battle Tower. Deposit the Pokemon holding the items you want to duplicate. Save. You draw the Pokemon you want to duplicate. Talk to the lady in front of the desk until she wants you to save. When she asks if you want to save, just soft reset, done by pressing start, select A and B. You will spawn at the desk and when you check the Pokemon you withdrew, they will be both in the box and your party. Save and repeat until you have the amount of Pokemon and items needed. You can duplicate 1 to 5 Pokemon at a time. Items are duplicated by being held by the Pokemon you duplicate. The Pokemon and items you should duplicate is Lickitung holding Palmic Berries or HP ups depending on how many HP ups you got. And Farfetch'd holding a rare candy. Duplicate them until you have 6 of both and then put them in a separate box from all your other Pokemon and take the items. Withdraw Bennett and save. A HP up gives your Pokemon 10 HP EVs instantly. This can cause your Pokemon to gain 0 to 2 max HP stats. This is your Pokemon's max HP stats. We need our Bennett to gain 2 max HP stats from a single HP up. This can be done by just giving it HP ups until one gives it 2 max HP stats. If you need more than 4 HP ups for your Bonnet to gain 2 max HP stats from one of them, you should soft reset and level up your Bonnet using one of the rare candies we duplicated earlier. After leveling it up, try to give it HP ups again and see if one of them gives your Bonnet 2 max HP stats. If this takes too long, you can always get another Bonnet and try with that one. I hope you've picked what Pokemon you want to get, because now I will show you how to get that Pokemon. We do this by Eevee training our Farfetch to a specific number. Every Pokemon has a deck number, but in this context our deck number is the Dividend A. 
In the description I have linked a site where you can find out what the dividend A is for the Pokemon you want. For example, I'm going for Jirachi which has a dividend A of 409. So we can just type 409 in the dividend A spot in my calculator here. Link to this calculator is in the description. Our dividend B is always going to be 256. When I click calculate we get two numbers. Q is how many attack EVs my Farfetch should have and R is how many HP EVs my Farfetch should have. So if I want to get the Jirachi, my Farfetch is going to need 153 HP EVs and 1 attack EV. This is where the EXP share come in. You should give one of your Farfetch the EXP share, remember to have 5 more backups just in case. You can put one of your stronger Pokemon in the front of the party and go to Route 116 outside of Rustboro City and kill a Puchiana for an attack EV if you need one. Remember only to do this if you need one. We can go back and see that I need 153 HP EVs and one attack EV, so I would need to kill one Puchiana and 153 Wishmer. You can also give your Farfetch up to 10 HP ups which will grant it 10 HP EVs each. This can really speed up your process. Now that I've given my Farfetch 10 HP ups and 100 HP EVs, I only need to kill one Puchian and 53 Wishmer. After you have Farfetch with your desired EVs, it's important to remove the EXP share, so if you step into a trainer battle by accident, you don't have to start over again EV training your Farfetch. You can now fly back to the Battle Frontier, I would recommend marking your new Farfetch so you don't mix them up with the other ones, although it's pretty easy to spot the difference as your Farfetch probably have leveled up while EV training it, but you can never be too safe. You now need to duplicate your new EV trained Farfetch and the bonnet we worked on earlier in the video. We do this so if anything happens later in the glitch, we always have backups, so we don't have to do everything all over again. If you do not remember how to duplicate Pokemon, there are timestamps in the pinned comment below, so you can go back to when I explained it. After you have duplicated a few Farfetch'd and Bennett, you can fly to Oldale Town. We are going to give Bennett negative HP. How this works is that in Emerald there is something called a Palme glitch. When you give a Pokemon a HP up, which increases the Pokemon's HP EVs by 10, you will gain anything from 0 to 2 HP stats instantly. On the other hand, the Palme Bear reduces the Pokemon's HP stat by 10, so if your Pokemon gain 1 HP stat from the HP up, it will lose that 1 HP stat when you give it a Palme Berry. This works even if every other member in your party is already fainted. We can use this to only have fainted members in our party, but the game still thinks they're alive. This lets us do a couple of glitches, which is basically just tricking the game into doing something it's not supposed to. The reason we need the Bennett to gain 2 HP stats is because we don't want it to faint, but to go into negative HP when we give it a Palmic Berry. If you give a Pokemon with negative HP a Max Potion or a Max Restore, that will make the Pokemon faint. What you want to do is save in front of the little grass spot on Route 101. The reason we use this little grass spot is because there is no Pokemon that can hurt our Bennett here. You want to give Bennett a HP up so it gains 2 HP stats. It really helps if Bennett has an odd number HP stat when doing this, because we need to make our Bennett go down to 1 HP. Curse halves our HP, so if we have an odd number HP, we can use Curse twice which leaves us with 1 HP. If you have an even number HP, we need to find another way of doing this. If you go to Pedalburg Woods, there is a 25% chance of getting a worm pull with a Poison Sting. Try to get poisoned and run around until you have 1 HP left. If you're doing this, you need to bring an item that can heal the poison effects. A full heal or antidote will work. When your Bonnet is at 1 HP, you can use a Palmic Berry on it. Your Bonnet's health bar should now say question mark, random number, slash, your Pokemon's full health. When you get this, you can trade one of your EV trained Farfetch'd, a Lickitung, and your minus 1 HP Bennett to Fire Red or Leaf Green. Remember not to box Bennett because we don't want to heal it. 
In Fire Red Leaf Green, you want to start with moving all your Pokemon in box 2 to a different box and put Lickitung in box 2 slot 27. You need 3 random Pokemon, preferably low leveled. One of them needs no Surf, and you don't need Fly, but it might help later on. You need to feint your 3 random Pokemon, and the one that knows Surf needs to be either in the front of the party or in the second slot. Go to Island 4 and put Ditto and Farfetch'd in the daycare. It's really important that you put Ditto in first, then Farfetch'd. Now you should only have your glitched HP Farfetch'd and 3 dead members in your party. Bennett needs to be the 4th member. Run back and forward until you're Ditto and Farfetch'd to make an egg. Don't pick up the egg yet. You can now save in front of the little lake right to the Pokemon Center. It's time to start glitching. You need to surf and do an encounter. Flee. Deposit party member 3. Use a max potion or max restore on Bonnet. Surf and do an encounter. Go to Pokemon. Press the right button on the D-pad. Press A and Summary. Press B to exit Summary and B again. Start pressing up 87 times. The 5th time pressing up and nothing should light up. The 6th time, the first party member should light up. The 7th time, nothing should light up again. Let's call this a positive sequence. If you get a positive sequence, keep pressing up until you hit 87 times. If you did not get a positive sequence, you need to soft reset and try again. After pressing up 87 times, press B and use a Poké Doll to flee. Check your PC. If your Lickitung is marked by a circle and a pyramid symbol, the glitch is done. If not, soft reset and try again. The chance of getting the circle pyramid Lickitung is 1 in 32, but I was really unlucky and got mine on my 54th attempt. You might be really lucky or unlucky, so just keep trying, and if you feel like you've done something wrong, feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section and I'll try my best to answer them. After getting the circle pyramid Lickitung, you can save in front of the old man and start doing encounters by talking to the man retrieving the egg, surfing on the lake to do an encounter. If the egg sparkles, it's shiny. If not, try again. If you get a shiny enemy while doing soft resets for this hunt, you can catch them, but you would have to set the hunt up again from the point where we traded over the Bonnet Lickitung and Farfetch'd from Emerald. Some people does not get the egg when doing encounters, but another party member. If this is the case for you, you can just swap the egg with a party member that keeps appearing and do your encounter. You will unfortunately have to do this every encounter. Well, now you know how to hunt any non-breedable Pokemon in Fire Red and Leaf Green. I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to check out my Twitch channel, Scritch Was Taken, where I shiny hunt. Leave a like, comment, and feel free to subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye.